Hi guys, a little bit of a different what's in my bag today. Um, for a change I'm not going to show you what I would take into work because um, or maybe you've been getting a little bit bored of that, I have. But also because I've got a slightly bigger bag that I wouldn't really use as a work bag. Um, well, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm sure she makes a fantastic go-to-work bag. But because I also carry my laptop in a laptop sleeve, I like to have a fairly small work bag that fits crossbody. And then um, I carry my laptop separately. So, and I've got to read this off there. Um, I'm going to show you the I'm going to show you the Chloe Alison East West color block toad in Ocean Mermaid. Mm, it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, so obviously the model is the Chloe Alison East West. Presumably means it's because she's wide. Maybe there is one that was higher. I don't actually know. I'm not an expert on Chloe. Um, and Ocean Mermaid is the color. So she's this beautiful teal color um, in this really nicely textured leather. Um, in a sort of trapeze kind of shape, um, but if you don't load it up too much, you could probably, you know, shove those corners in kind of thing, then you've got more conventional size toe. Um, but uh, you can see I've loaded her up and I've loaded her up. I, I'm pretending I'm packing for um, a weekend getaway and um, because we're flying with Ryan and we don't want to check in any luggage and I don't want to bring on a separate wheelie or I don't even know whether you're allowed one on Ryanair or EasyJet or whatever. Um, I had to pack everything in this bag. So a um, bit of a challenge, but let's see whether that worked out. But before we start unloading, let's do the measuring. Right. We've got a width and I'm not gonna measure these. I'm just gonna measure where the seams run at the bottom here. A width of approximately 37 centimeters. We've got a height of approximately 34 centimeters and a depth at the bottom of approximately, you guessed it, 18 centimeters. The fixed handles are about 20, just over 21 centimeters. So for me, very comfortable on the shoulder. Um, and actually, shh, don't tell anybody, but um, more comfortable than some of the mulberry um, handles simply because these are flat. Mulberry ten tend to be rolled and so they're more, um, they don't, they just don't sit as comfortable because you've got this flat edge as opposed to a thinner rolled edge which might dig into your shoulder. <coughs> so shall I have a look what we fit in? Doesn't really work. I'm so used to um, handles flap it, flopping down, um, it's a bit weird. Anyway, it closes with this little carabine hook, which unhooks quite easily and you've already had a sneak peek now what I've got in there. So first thing, because I plumped this on the top, is my Naked Cow um, Fodori or Midori or whatever you want to call it um, with four field note sized inserts in there. I have my current diary, the last insert of my diary if I need to refer back to, one thing for notes which I tend to use for work and one thing which is for my blog which I've been woefully neglected recently. But anyway, and it has my Pilot um, Coletto pen attached there. Then uh, when I go anywhere, when I fly, usually I take a scarf. This is some sort of, I think this is from H&M or something like that, but it's quite a big one actually. So there you go. Um, I tend to wear it like this-ish. Um, if I'm cold, underneath a coat or on top of a coat or whatever, but with it being quite big, you could obviously wear it different ways um, and I just like to have something to wrap up on the plane. I've got this little thing which isn't very full but I like to use it for taking jewellery when I go on holiday if it's nothing precious. So um, my, my brother actually brought this back, uh, I think he went to Singapore on a business trip a few years ago and he brought me this back, it's very pretty. And here I've got a necklace um, which is from Oliver Bonas. So obviously with this not being metal and stuff, you know, there's no danger it's um, breaking or getting tarnished or whatever. If I put in um, items that are metal, 
Um, then I would usually wrap them up with some tissue paper first and then pop them in there. But I don't have a separate jewellery roll or something like that. I don't tend to travel with it. I don't own an awful lot of real jewellery jewelry or precious jewellery. And I certainly don't tend to travel with it. But if something needs protecting, I tend to just um, wrap it up in tissue paper and put it in something like this. Um, I've got my purse in here, which is my Mulberry French purse in oak. I've got a book in here, which was just a random book I picked off the shelf. It's something German and I still haven't read it. Um, because I just wanted to show we fit a book in there as well. I've got, and this is a really crappy little thing, um, this is a free one, but because um, essentially my makeup case, I took, um, I don't wear a lot of makeup. The thing that I always, always, always wear is mascara. Sometimes I put on a little bit of mineral sort of foundation. Sometimes if I go um, all out, I might put in some um, eyeshadow. So I essentially, I pulled out, since we're not checking in, I pulled out my mascara and put that into the liquids, which I'm going to run through in a minute. So the only things really left in my makeup bag were my eyelash curler, which I cannot be without. Um, and then, as I said, if I go all out, I go for some eyeshadow. This is some number seven mink, which I like. It's a nice neutral tone. And then some mineral foundation, which is L'Oreal True, the Minerals True Match, um, which is so easy to apply. There we go. Um, and then in the liquid um, thing, we have my mascara. We've got this stuff, which is fortunately broke the last time. We're getting a visitor. I'm still doing some work. Can I just finish but, this? But have you seen Papa? Papa should be next door. No, he's not. Well, then I don't know where he is. Do you want to sit over there? I think Jake is looking for you. Right, um, sorry. We've got, <laughs> we've got mascara, which is number seven. Uh, extreme length waterproof. So I only ever use waterproof because I'm allergic against 5 million things and my eyes tear up quite easily um, for various reasons. Um, and this is the stuff that I use um, to make my eyelashes grow a little bit longer and it really, really works. I only use it every couple of days. I'm really rubbish at remembering. It's M2 Beauty. I don't know whether that's from England. No, it's made in Cologne, Germany. Um, it's quite expensive but it really does work. Yeah, makes your eyelashes longer and thicker. So anyway, so I've taken this and I've taken a hand cream um, and I'm currently completely obsessed with Jo Malone. This is pomegranate noir from the um, little collection of five bottles. So I'm taking that. So I've got a little cologne with me. Um, Vaseline, I used to remove my eye makeup um, and obviously on my lips. So that's always nice when something doubles up my inhaler. Um, and then I just got some little molten brown um, shower gel, hair, uh, shampoo and conditioner and a sanitizing hand gel. And that's it. Oh, and some Payo um, freebies, which is always handy to have when you're traveling, just as a, as a cream for the evening. There we go. Um, or the morning, obviously. I've got a little foldable shopping bag, just in case. Um, Oh yeah, of course, removing my makeup um, and brushing my face or whatever, I've just taken a pack or the rest of a pack of number seven quick thinking wipes, which essentially removes all your makeup. I always remove my makeup with the Vaseline first, but that is obviously really good to, to then splash your face with water and then remove everything with that. Um, and then I've got this little sippy pocket, um, Mulberry Multi Sip, with various things. I'm not going to go through it all, but essentially it's my, all the cables I need for mobile phones and stuff. Um, it's tablets, tampons, stuff like this I've got in there. Um, hold on, where is it? Oh, because we're flying, um, I've got my passport. I've got my phone. I've got, where was it? I've just seen it somewhere else. <laughs> I've lost something. Oh no, there it is. I've got my work phone. Um, I'll show you in there what's in there in a minute. And then you can see inside the bag I've actually put a liner. I, I wouldn't have actually bought one for this bag specifically because I bought a child 
to kind of chuck everything in and um, I don't quite know how I discovered just sort of by coincidence I saw that the base water liner from Samorga I have fits almost perfectly it literally goes into the edges here um, and the other thing is it color wise it matches um, the trim in here and it works really really well a obviously it protects uh, the suede on the inside from any stains or whatever b it doesn't make the bar completely puddle which it would because it's really really soft leather um, and see it allows me some sort of um, level of organization okay so I'm going to take this out and show you the inside and show you how soft this bag is because it does really just smush together you can see that on the inside this bag just has one little slip pocket in black and that's it um, what have we got in there we've got various little made in Hungary tab and down there does it have like a number a number stamp as I said I'm not a Chloe expert so I wouldn't really know but there you go that's the bag so just to show you what we also had in there was um, this is just a dust bag from some normal bag item thing um, these are essentially all my clothes I'm going to take for the weekend. So I'm going to wear a skinny pair of jeans and boots that go all red, a jumper and um, some sort of long sleeve top um, underneath that. So in here I've got all of the other clothes I need. I've got um, a change of bra and a few pairs of knickers. I've got a pair of tights, um, a pair of high um, coloured socks which I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm going to wear those with let's try and find that this is my really easy to travel with whistles dress it's essentially it's like a t-shirt but it has that sort of fold over bit or wrap over bit at the front um, so I'm going to wear this with the black tights with these socks and the boots that I'm wearing but I need underneath a long sleeve black top so that's dinner sorted dinner um, on Saturday evening so we're flying out Saturday morning I'm wearing this wearing this wherever we're going in the evening I change into that dress and um, I'm also taking a cardigan this is just a, a pink um, bowden cardigan if I get a bit cold I can wear that over there and then for the next day, I have brought, um, I'm still wearing the, the jeans, um, but I've brought a fresh jumper and a little vest to wear underneath. That jumper is quite warm, so I'll be fine, but I can wear the cardigan over it if I get too cold. And for the night, I've just brought um, a little um, sort of long sleeve t-shirt type thing from M&S so we've got knickers we've got extra bra we've got an outfit for the Saturday evening an outfit for the next day and when we're flying, flying back so there we go I've just proved that I can fly um, with just my Chloe Allison um, tote so um, sorry I'm really waffling now I kind of lost the thread but I hope you found this useful in regards to what this bag can hold it can work it's a weekend bag there we go Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Bye.